Good day, Canada and hockey fans in the United States and Newfoundland. I'm on silent and we're coming to you from a cozy and comfortable broadcast spot. It's because, once again, hockey is back. And so is NHL 94. It's NHL 94, the 2023 mod. Originally from 1993. Oh my god, it's 29 years old. Next year we got a... See if- no, no, I'm not gonna do anniversary content for it because everyone and their mother's gonna do anniversary content for this next year. This NHL 94 generally considered one of, if not the best hockey game ever made, and folks are still playing it to this day, and still updating it to this day. I mean, you can see the- the, uh, teams and- and players scrolling across the screen in front of you as we speak. Of course, Colorado, boo, won the Stanley Cup last year, boo. And so, <laughs> they and the Lightning are up top there. We, of course, will play as the heroic Detroit Red Wings. And, of course, if you've been around here long enough, you know who we're up against. It's how we do around here. Probably not an uneven matchup. Let them leave off. It's gonna stay off. Penalties on. Nah, yeah, leave off sides on. Uh, auto line changes. And let's grow. Hi, I'm Ron Ba for EA Sports. Welcome to a sold out Little Caesars Arena. Tonight's National Hockey League game features the Anaheim Ducks and Detroit Red Wings for Detroit Ville. Husso is on a hot streak. But Dylan Larkin is off his game. For Anaheim, Cam Fowler is on a hot streak. But Adam Henrique is off his game. I was hoping Gibby would be off his game, but it is what it is. Hey, at least they gave Cider up an appropriate rating. 69. Nice! I'm surprised. Uh, it could be the hot streak that Huso's ahead of Gibby. But let's take a look at some of these uh, ratings as they come across the bottom of your screen. Zegris does one highlight real goal and he's overrated as fuck. Vrana better than Henrique, of course. Only one point for Raymond ahead of Terry. Whatever. Only 59 for Heronic. I mean, he's not going to be playing first pair with, with Cider. It's it's going to be uh, Schrott. Because it's Cider's lot in life to carry a desiccated corpse alongside him. Did it last year with DeKaiser. Let's take a look at what we got for lines. Uh, yeah, okay, so it is going to be Schrott. Yeah. Yeah, I figure that's likely to be the first line. Cop, Perrin, and Verona. I feel like we're missing stuff, like... Kubalik, Fabry... Yeah. I get what they're doing, but they, I'm not sure what, what the lines are gonna look like. I guess a checking line makes sense for a checking line to look like that, but it's not exactly... Oh, Suter's missing as well. Can you see what position they usually play? No, well, not really. I mean, it's, it's probably not a bad... Yeah, because who's not in? Okay, yeah, these guys are in pair, and yeah, he's gonna play second line. Kubalik, I'm surprised... ...isn't, uh... ...a sealed peep playing third-ish line. Fabry, when he's back, I think he might be hurt at the moment. Suter's gonna be playing third-ish line, but he's center. Zadina's not in there either. You got a lot of options here. You got a, you don't have a good top nine. Well, you don't have a great top nine. You got a good top nine for though if you're the wings. So, you know, maybe you put, uh, yeah, you put Fabry there. You put Suter there. Who do you put on the right side? Uh, I guess Zadina probably. Then eh, Kubalik, Kubalik. Sure, why not? You do that. I guess I didn't need to save it, but yeah. And you get Kraken. I don't mean Seattle. As we dance around that Mexican hat. Draw one back to Vile Huso. And Sherratt, Raymond. Mort Sider. <laughs> Kill the guy. <laughs> Klingberg signs to get his, uh, Signs to get his uh, value up for next year, and absolutely sidered. 
And that's Alibata. There's Suter. On the break? Nope. Ah, couldn't slap its stick side. There's... Oh. Who's not play? No, no trapezoid in uh, NHL 94, fortunately. What kind of horse shit offside call is that? Rasmussen. We'll take the draw. Alongside Burt. Offside on that one. A lot of ugly offsides. This first game of the season, let's call it that. There's, there's Sherratt. Up to Burt. Not that, I think the game expected Sherratt to be on the penalty kill because he's going to be the one, you know, in the box. Where's the boarding call? There's an interference call. Now I'm trying to get it out front to Bertuzzi. There we go. We're we're laying the. Oh, I thought Rasmussen could put it by Gibby, but the uh, quick glove on uh, on Gibby. Waiting on on some interference in the back to clear out, but Huso makes a save. Long range. Bert's got it. Couldn't get the rebound, and now arm up and a slash for Trevor Zegris. Now the wings will take to the power play. Uh, cops not doing much hitting. I don't know who 81 is now. There's Dave Perron. Tried to cut across the center. It was not the optimal choice. Yeah, that's a problem... That's the problem with new guys, is you don't know all the... Like, Perron at 50, number 57, yeah, yeah, you expect that. But I don't know who 81 is. Uh, Kubelik? That would be that would be a right number for a Dom Kubelik, but... Uh, take a quick gander at game stats here before we uh, go on. Five to two's the shots. Do we get any sh We've gotten two shots on the power play, so yeah, we're taking advantage. We shut down. Hey, Detroit's penalty kill last season. If I could shut down the Ducks... I'll take it. About even on face-offs. Good attacking zone presence. Need to clean up the passes a little bit. But I just want to take a look at... The player st Oh yeah, they will include. Who's 81 is... In fact, Kubalik. I wasn't sure if it was one of the new guys or not, so... Just watch the out-of-town scores come across the bottom of the screen. Columbus, Vancouver, all knotted up. I haven't done my hockey pool draft. It's coming two days after you guys watch this video. So that's why it's like, I, I gotta figure it out. Because um, one of the things I'm looking at for my hockey pool draft is with um, with uh, Johnny Hockey and uh, Patrick Laine on the same line. It's like, well, who's centering that line, right? So that's a guy that's going to get carried to 50, 60 points just by virtue of having Goudreau and Laine on his wings, right? It's the same thing you look at Edmonton's top two lines, and you hope to God, like... Like, I picked Nuge last year, right? Uh, like, it's 12-round draft, I picked them around 7-8th round. And so I picked Nuge there, and I was like, Nuge, what the hell, Steve? And I'm like, no, he's... And he's playing with Dreisaitl, he's doing PP1, with Dreisaitl and, um, and McDavid. And it's like, he's centering that line. It's like, well, hell yes, this is a great pick. I mean, it was great for the first half of the season. And remember, the Oilers have absolutely no coaching or general management talent, but it is what it is. I mean, I still finished third in the pool. It's a points pool, but... Wins the draw to Fabry. There's Burt. Back to Lucas Raymond. I was onside. Cannonading drive Fabry isn't in place to... Uh, eh. Hey, he scores! Uh, <laughs> no. No, it's the cop line. I think he's... I think he's out for the start of the season with an abdominal. 
Oh, come on. David Perrin can hit better than that. There you go. There's Jacob Verana. My buddy Silver Zero Breaks was telling me. Hey, cop, let's go. Was that Verana is the only guy that lives in Detroit proper. The rest of them live in the suburbs. Of the wings, anyway. He lives with... Uh, Verana lives within walking distance of... Uh, of the pizzeria there. I don't know if we've got a better name for the... Uh, D-Boss. Where's someone out front to pick up that... Just bang it back. I was gonna say, if they... If they called icing on that, I was going to... I was gonna flip that. Oh, no, no, no. We got no one close. We gotta take that one. We gotta freeze that. I mean, if no one was close to that, I would've been quite upset. Uh, or, uh, no. Sub if they had called ice on that, that would've been... I would've been upset. Let's take it nice and slow. Or just... Use size to our advantage. Somebody get in front. Somebody get in front. Somebody get in front. D-Boss got in front, but he had to one-time it off his backhand. Oh, Raymond just wide. Lucas Raymond, I thought... Ah, uh, just... Slides through everyone in the slot. Oh, off... Where was the offside? Where was the offside? There's an offside. <laughs> Offsetting offsides. Murder Mo. Okay, we'll just dump it down the ice. Hey, there's a shot. Gibson with a save. I was trying to find Bert out front, but... Or was it D-Boss out front? A lot of... Oh, there's the end of the period. I was going to say a lot of uh, questionable checking in the corner there. Oh, Seattle beats up on Boston. I'm not sure if they've got... Uh, Hello, the Zamboni guys uh, waving at us. The Zamboni driver's waving at us. Uh, no, what was I going to say about um, Boston? Let's see, Bertrand signed? I assume, I assume he signed. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, highlight from Columbus in Vancouver. I don't know all the guys on Vancouver, but that guy scored. It's Pearson. Vancouver picks up the win over Columbus. Oh, highlight from Calgary, New Jersey. Man, that's a close game. Uh, Money Puck's got... Calgary is the cup favorites. Jesper Bratt picks up the win for Jersey. And that's, uh, that's your out-of-town scores. After two periods of action in Detroit. Now, I'm surprised Money Puck's got... Uh, I mean, I mean, they probably saw how Markstrom played for the first two rounds of the playoffs. Or in the first round of the playoffs, sorry. Well, him and... Ottinger. Holy shit, was that a goaltender duel. Calgary and Dallas there, you know? Oh, the checking unit's out. Suter. Oh, that's Osterle. That's gonna be... Oh, that's interference! He had that puck if Gibby didn't try to annihilate him. What kind of horse shit's that? Back here, 28. That's Lindstrom. Fabry across. Oh, out front. Somebody wasn't picking up the pieces. Blocked. There's Fabry. We've seen him on the power play. Shot out front. Suter can't get back to it. There's Dominic Kubalik. Catches Fabry on the break. Nice streak in from Fabry, but the backhand can't buy, get by Gibson. He'll hold the puck. Freeze 302 left on the clock. We're riding the checking unit, such as it is. Oh, the one timer and the puck comes, uh, or the uh, net comes off its moorings, and we will face off outside the zone. Kubalik to Suter and blocked. 
And another one-timer and Suter can't get hit by Gibson. Fabry comes in offside. Could not keep that puck in. And now the first unit's out. Draw one to Burt. Right in front and stopped by Gibson. And well, well offside. Go the Ducks. Now second unit's out for the Ducks. Two minutes remain. Puck is picked off in the slot. Schrott with a check. Oh. And there goes E-Boss. Grip it and rip it and it's stopped by Gibson. Rebound! More it's Cider with a big, big hit. Can't find anyone out front. One minute remaining in regulation. Cider, killing clock, killing clock, killing clock. Nobody can move big old Moritz Cider off the puck. Nice shot and Gibson handcuffed but stops it. Well, well offside, six seconds remaining. I think uh, Cider killed enough clock there. We're good to go. Draw one. And that'll do it. Huso cop pairing three stars of the game. I think that's fair. That's kind of what you're hoping for if you're a Wings fan this year. It's all the new arrivals kind of... Kind of pick up the slack there. And there's the out-of-town scores again going across underneath. Take a quick look at the stats. Shooting percentage wasn't great. He kind of had that one well under control. 17 shots to 3. And the one one-timer was what won it. Controlled the face-offs, laid the body. Could work on my passing the game a little bit. 17 shots. I assume Suter. It felt like Suter had most of them. Shots on... Yeah. Felt like the puck came to him a lot there during the... Uh, during that third period there. He got a lot of pressure on there. Sherratt with a few hits, Perrin with a few hits, so the same with Kubalik. Uh, Cider with two hits, which I assume... I wonder if one was that injuring penalty on against Klingberg, but... Don't have to go through much of a scoring or penalty summary. Oh, crowd meter! It peaked at, uh... 91. It doesn't tell me when it peaked, though. That would have been a nice thing, is, is to say, oh, hey, the crowd level peaked at, you know, such and such, right? And if it said, oh, it peaked at 91, which was when, which was when, uh, Perrin and Cop hooked up for the goal. Okay. That's one game down. You know how, if you've been here, we do this every year. And if you've been here before for this, you know, we start with, with my team, and then we go on to... The next one, which is usually what a Stanley Cup matchup might look like. And if you look at the odds at the moment, this is kind of what we're looking at, is Carolina and Colorado. Now, of course, I'm not sure how odd, often the odds are correct. I mean, we also said that Calgary also has the best, according to Money Puck, the analytics say that... I don't like either of these teams. I just realized I really don't like either of these teams. Calgary? Yeah. I don't like either of those teams. I'll just place Calgary. Screw it. <laughs> what could I say? Alright. Shall we give it a go? Oh, we are just signed an extension. Just, like, just before I hit record, I got a notification that uh, Uyghur signed an extension with the Flames. So they got their two guys off of the uh, Kachuk trade signed. I find that interesting. You'd think a team... You'd think a team that lost its two stars, Goudreau and Kachuk, and you'd think 
that would set them back. And they somehow, with signing Kadri, with trading for uh, Uberdo and Uyghur, it's like, they came out ahead? How the hell does that happen? But it seems to have happened, so... Hi, I'm Ron Barr for EA Sports. Welcome to a sold-out PNC Bank Arena. Tonight's game features the Calgary Flames and Carolina Hurricanes. For Carolina, Andre Svechnikov is on a hot streak, but Brent Burns is off his game. For Calgary, Elias Lindholm is on a hot streak, but Noah Hannafin is off his game. The PNC crowd record is 80 decibels. Hit the start button to begin. All right. Even with the hot, uh, the cold streak, Burns, uh, Baron, Weger, Markstrom. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Somebody else, the guy who did the uh, ratings, also watched that playoff series against uh, against Dallas. There's Lindholm, Uberdo, and Toffoli. That's interesting. Not how I would expect some of these lineups to go. Hannafin's still better than Slavin while cold, but. Uh, Burns, he's been around a long time. I forget how old Brent Burns is, but you just, you can't help but feels like there's going to come a point. Let's just look that up very quickly. He is 37. Because I'm just thinking, it's like, there's going to come a point where he's going to fall off a cliff, right? And he's going to be detrimental. You just don't know when that's going to be yet, so. And he is he is supposed to be wearing number eight this season for the, uh, for the Canes, so. Detroit Hockey, I don't know if you saw 7-4 over, uh, over Toronto in the third. Detroit Hockey emulating Detroit football. The Lions number one offense in the NFL, number 32 in defense. All right, let's go. Elias Lindholm. I had, I had Lindholm, I'd never heard of frickin' Lindholm until last season, right? Oh, got it. I'd never heard of Lindholm until last season, and I missed the first, like, four or five rounds of my hockey pool draft. And my butt, I had my buddy cover for me, I guess I had a work thing. Oh, offside, okay. Oh, yes, uh, Carolina is going to the Blacks as the primary. This I don't like. I mean, just, like, come on. Just use the frickin', you know? Use the frickin' Reds. I mean, I don't mind that, um... Frozen, then? Yeah. A hook of... Oh, Brent Burns in the box. Like, I don't mind if Vegas went to... Their golds as as their uh, primaries for this season. Half because you know they're the golden knights, and half because oh balls. Half because uh, I was able to because they're changing jerseys. I was able to get like a really cheap uh, gray. Uh, I guess now it's the alternate, but it's a really cheap. Uh, Gray uh, Golden Knights jersey, the old home. Hey, what? 60 bucks? For an authentic? Just because they. Somebody changes the jersey and then all of a sudden. Now well, skirts through everyone. 91, I assume, is Kadri. Well, yeah, he killed that guy, so it must be Kadri. Boy, did he have a season last year. I'm hoping... I was hoping... Oh, it was Kadri. I was hoping he would keep pace so we could... Uh, not quite right position for Uber, though. Ah, nothing happened there. Yeah, so, um, da, 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 I, I had a lot of thoughts happening there. But yes, if you're looking for... If you're looking for good discounts on jerseys, always wait for somebody to get traded or leave in free agency or for them to change the jerseys because that's usually when the discounts happen.
Or for someone to have a really shitty jersey. Oh, Vegas and St. Louis highlight. Just wait for someone to have a really shitty jersey and then, then those will go on sale fast. Those Smashville jerseys. One timer in the scores. It's O'Reilly. Uh, yeah, like the those Smashville jerseys, those Toronto Arenas jerseys from the the Heritage Classic. Oh my God, Chicago won a freaking hockey game. I don't expect that to happen very often this season. The way they sold off, like those things sold like nothing. The uh, yeah, the uh, Retro Reverse 2.0 that's supposed to be coming this year. I mean, I'm hoping to get something decent out of frickin'... Yeah, we might want... Yeah, um... Sorry, I'm get It's my day off of work, and I'm getting... Like, I, I told people, like... I'll deal with stuff on... Don't bother me until Monday. And then they're not bothering with me. Anyway. Or Tuesday, rather. Because today's Thanksgiving here in Canada. Eh. But yeah, the Retro Reverse 2.0 is like, I'm looking forward to those. I'm hoping Detroit has a decent one this year. Because the shit ones, you can still find even discounted. You can still find, ah, nuts. Big save, Markstrom. Up to Toffoli. Oh, I thought Uberto had gone offside, but no. Uh, ice, ice. No, Markstrom's got it. Up to Uberdo. I was looking for Li uh, Linom, but uh, I was I was expecting that to be off, but no. There was a trip in front. Yeah, there's the call. Is Linholm got taken down in front? Oh, there's a charge. Okay, because I saw Linholm go down. I thought nope, trip, trip, trip. Nope, we're good. What was the call there? Oh, we're roughing against Backland, and now we're going to play 4-on-4 four four for a minute 50. Now, they've, the, some of the Retro Reverse have come out. Uh, so, you just gotta... Or, been leaked, I guess is a better way of putting it. Um, oh, Uberdo keeps it onside. Just... Not much of a hit from Linholm on Aho there. Try it high stick side. That's what they teach you when you're growing up. Go low glove or high stick. Ah. Ooh. Floating towards the goal. Big save Markstrom. He's looking for... Oh, there's the... Carolina power play starting and ending. Can somebody check someone? Nope. There we go. Answers right back. Elias Lenome from Uberdo. And they will go run to the locker room. Likely not at ones. Quick penalty off the off the hop against Carolina. Jarvis going to the box. Two minutes to think about what he's done. Shoot, damn you! That's the end of the second frame. We're all knotted up at once. Let's see if we can't pull off a big comeback here. Bring the cup back to Canada, but that's probably a curse. Since the last time a Stanley Cup was won by a Canadian team was, in fact, 1993. Same year this game came out. I granted, a few months prior to. 
Holy shit! I thought the Isles were supposed to have good goaltending. That's what the J-Fresh model says, but... Spin, spin, and skews! I was gonna say that was... I mean, that could... The problem was, is that could have been either team's jersey, because that could have been the third for Columbus, just as well as it could have been the primaries for... Um, for uh, Winnipeg, right? And the red trim made, made me think... I guess the red trim made me inclined to think the that uh, the white uh, the 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 road colors were um, Columbus, but then again, it could have been like the the uh, Winnipeg. Speaking of things, now for some inexplicable reason, it was even before I, I've got a Line A jersey from Winnipeg. I think I got the white Heritage Classic one with Line A, and I've got the the dark Heritage Classic, and I got each for like eighty ninety bucks. It's like, just look for sales. If you're looking for jerseys, just look for sales because they're, they're great jerseys that'll go on sale for no explicable reason. And then they won't go on, like, I don't think there was a, I got like, like I said, just a frickin. I guess I should've looked at stats, but oh well. Yeah, just the, um. Yeah, I just got the, the Vegas jersey. It was the only... Like, even at the end of the season, there weren't many discounts this year, so... Oh, Lindholm almost... Oh, we banging away at a front. Banging and banging and banging and banging. Nothing. 88's Manjapane, right? Even if it isn't, it's a fun name to say. Lindholm. Folks just clacking away at a rebound. There's Backlund again. I don't mean Bob. And he scores! Lindholm again! Who needs Goudreau? Who needs Kachuk? You got Elias Lindholm. I was looking for a guy out front. This was not coming. There's Hooper, though. Who was it? Uh, was it... Sutter was saying, oh yeah, he's a better passer than, than Goudreau. And it's like, well, that's dangerous. Oh, that one's right over the glass and into the stands. And a man from Red Deer, Alberta has taken that puck home tonight. Well, that was an interference. We would have had that puck if not for interference there, because the guy, uh, my guy, was was there and got bumped away. Oh, I did not realize. Oh, pfft. okay, we're probably just back where we started. Oh no, we've gained a few feet. I don't know who this guy is with the puck. He's not particularly fast. I was hoping to catch the center who was trailing. Inside the final minute. Oh, for f the pick up the pass, you morons. <laughs> We're killing clock, but not particularly well. Oh, just banging away at rebounds, but that'll do it. And Calgary! Something, something, Stanley Cup! Three stars of the game, Elias Lindholm. Not surprising, Teru Tervala... Tivu Tervala... Oh, hell, Tervala... And Jonathan Huberdo, third star of the game. Oh, I, I, I guess it... Yeah, I, you, you gotta let it skip to the end of the game. <laughs> Out of town scores going by at the bottom of the screen. St. Louis sure as hell overpaid for some of that shit during the uh, free agency, but whatever. Who was uh, Nick Letty? That was who the uh, wings traded over, and it's like, you're paying us that much for Nick Letty? You're going to give Nick Letty that much money? God, it makes Ben Sherratt look like a good deal. That's pretty hard to do. 
game stats a little more even than the uh, than the uh, uh, Wings in Detroit game. You know, five shots on the power play again, doing a good job of taking care of it on the power play. Both teams scoring goals on one timers, even on faceoffs. Not so even on uh, on power play time. And uh, it is what it is. Lane home with both those goals. Uh, Killington. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, 88 was Manchapani. That was right. See, I remember little bits. I'm not a Calgary fan. I don't know all the players and the numbers. In case you need the scoring summary again. His big clutch unassist. Well, he's... Lynn home with two clutch goals. There's nothing not clutch about his goals today, so. Let's see how the crowd meter got. Well, peaked a little higher in Detroit, but. Again, it'd be nice if it said what, what it peaked at, but it is what it is. Was it on the, the comeback goal, the, the tying goal from Calgary, or is it. Yeah? You know? It's always fun to come back to NHL 94 and play a little bit of that. Of course. You got regular season games, you got playoffs, no season mode. Which is fine. I mean, the game is almost, almost, but not quite 30 years old, so... But that'll do it for NHL 94 here on the channel. We'll see if we can get NHL 2004 working again, but I don't think they actually care about getting it working on Windows 10 over at the, over at the modders there. But anyway, until we see you again, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe. If you're new, share on social media, follow on social media, the social media handle is on Silent On Air, and that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, there's plenty more classic hockey in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below, and more videos in each time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.